Assalamu alaikum. We're going to talk to you today a bit about high ticket closing. So a nice introduction to it so you get a good understanding and then you can be on your way to do whatever you want with that skill. So high ticket closing. So high ticket meaning business owners, ideally in the online coaching, consulting or marketing agency slash services niche. This is one of the most halal niches out there because it's literally just teaching you education about a particular skill or helping businesses grow, right? High ticket basically means any kind of product or service that is above two three k right so normally you'd find these types of businesses they would sell something for 5k 7k 10k some even 100k right the prices range depending on the level of service the level of um, you know fulfillment that that particular business is willing to do for the client okay so that's high ticket business owners so that's the high ticket part defined the next part closing what is closing so closing is basically when you're on the phone or on zoom closing the deal it's the last stage of the deal taking the payment handling any last previous objections or questions making sure you're vetting the prospects to make sure that this person on the call yes they are in need of the service yes they are a good fit for the service and yes we as a business owner you know we as a business can actually help this client as well so it's not just taking people's money and not giving anything back or scamming them nothing like that at all uh, pitching them on the value proposition so that is by understanding their problems right so what you want to do first is understand their problems um, and the reason why they've booked a call with you in the first place is because they have a problem otherwise they wouldn't take out their time going through all the resources that you have and booking a call right so they would book that call they'd know a lot about the uh, product or service before they get on a call with you and they have those final questions slash objections that you need to get over on the closing call um, and you need to provide a good value proposition to them a good pitch of your service right so it is not cold calling it's not bothering people it's not unsolicited calls it's nothing like that rather people are grateful for when they buy from you so if someone pays me 10k for something they would be grateful because now they're getting a service that they know would absolutely help them with whatever it is that they need help with okay so business owners they book in these calls for you you don't go out and find the the, the people to book calls with no right they book it in for you on your own calendar right and i'll show you a bit about that later from people who are interested in the product and service and are thinking of buying it if it's what the marketing says it is right so so remember this right so again this is the journey the customer goes through before they even get on a call with you Look, so they're seeing an ad first. That ad would, you know, say, are you struggling to earn an income online, for example, right? And they'll be like, yeah, you know what, I am. And then they're going to lead capture form, you know, download this free training uh, or put in your email and number so you can get this free training that teaches you the three secrets on how I got out of my 9 to 5, etc., right? Or how I scaled these businesses or how I got more leads for my business, whatever value proposition it is, how I developed myself into a beast and now I'm never lazy anymore, right? For example, so that's the lead capture. Then they watch some sort of free training about it this could range from seven minutes to even an hour right or even a couple of hours right so they watch that they understand they see testimonials they see proof that this stuff actually works they learn more about the business the business owner the brand uh, the industry itself as well that they're getting into uh, and then they book a call in the calendar at a time that you have selected for yourself and, and then the they fill out a questionnaire and this questionnaire is set to qualify them and i'll show you exactly how yeah, so for example, this is one that we have. Where do you currently live, right? So if they're outside with them, right? What do you do for a living? So here we're trying to assess, okay, what kind of money do they have? Are they even qualified to get on a call with us uh, and purchase the program, right? What's your current monthly income? Again, that's to assess the financial capability. The goal of the discovery, so it's just t telling you the goal of the discovery call so that they know and they're primed before they actually get on the call so they don't waste anyone's time, right? Um, and again, this is also pre-vetting them on that as well. This question number six here, this is telling them the next steps what's going to happen this is just sharing their details so the setter can actually contact them and prepare them to show up for the call um, and then this it will say on the next page there's going to be some resources for you to watch before the call make sure you watch it right and they're going to say yeah I'll watch it and, and then this is it's just showing again this application is for you to join our paid coaching program etc do you understand this yes I understand it's not a free program this is to prevent any tire kickers and people just wasting your time on the call yeah so that is what you, people go through they go through a, an application like this that qualifies them so the closer knows okay this is a qualified prospect the setter knows this is a qualified prospect i will pass it over to the client and you, you know that okay this person could be a sale right so that's really how it works 
in terms of the questionnaire. So now, yes, yeah, so, so after the questionnaire, they move on to that pre-framing. It's normally called a thank you page or a confirmation page. And that's where they learn everything else. They see the testimonials. They see some more videos before the call to pre-frame them. And then they got some pre-framing emails as well, which is an optional thing. Not everyone does it. And then they get on the call with you. So they go, the prospects that you're speaking with four to eight times a day, they go through all of this before they actually speak to you. That is closing, guys. You you are the last stage. It's just like, for example, there's a marathon race, right? And you have like three of the fastest people on your team. And they're all part passing the baton to each other. And then you're the last guy to collect the baton and then just, you know, run through uh, the finish line, right? You're the one who's going to get cheered at because you have done the the main thing which is taking the money from the person right and you here you get a nice 10 to 20 percent chunk of the commission uh based on the cash collected so if they paid 5k you get a nice 500 to 1k for it just on a call guys there's even one time uh well, there's actually multiple times there was one opportunity that i was on though where i was selling a 100k product and i used to get three to four k commissions just speaking to people who went through this entire exact process and just literally just had a few questions for me. That's it. They literally just had a few questions for me. And I was making 3 to 4K per call. And each call would last 15 to 30 minutes. So why do these people book a call, right? No one buys high ticket on a website. You're not going to see something on a website for 100K and then just buy it, right? <laughs> you need to speak to someone real. You need to make sure that this is all legit. You need to make sure that, okay, is it still going on? Is it still ongoing? Or is, this, is the web page still live, etc.? Is this something that you're still offering? No one's just going to pay that much, right? And then, you know, maybe not even get refunded, right? So they need to speak to someone. They need to have that reassurance. They need a call to make sure that this is definitely something for them. And that's all you're doing. You're asking them questions to assess if this is something for them and if they really need it. And then you're helping them, you're convincing them, you're influencing them based on sales psychology, which is all ethical the way that we teach it. It's all ethical. And then from there, they decide to go for the product if it's for them and then change their lives or not go for the product and then maybe go for something else. So now what I'm going to do is show you the script that we use uh, so you can get an understanding. So here, I'm just going to quickly go through this. So this is the million dollar sales script. I've, you know, I've closed millions of dollars, three to four million now. Um, so you start off with the introduction. This is basically where you start off with building some rapport, right? You build some rapport, you get to know the person a little bit. So at least they open up a bit because normally on sales calls, what happens is that the person is afraid of being sold. So the whole idea of a closer is to make sure that there's a as less sales resistance as possible as less sales resistance as possible that is a key fact that you need to understand so that's the introduction right just, just um, and then the agenda here the whole idea is just to start with an authoritative frame just making sure you set the tone for the call very simple you don't have to follow this exact script this is just a script it's a guide you can choose however you want to do things the main thing is that you practice this with a coach that who knows what they're doing right otherwise you're just gonna you're not really not gonna know what to do you need to understand the psychology and the philosophy behind this as well right um, and if you want to do that and if you want to learn all this you can upgrade no problem so g gathering intel right so this is all about okay why are they on the call right so you want to find out the background questions as to why they're on the call what's the main problem you know what are their problems and pains what have they done to solve it right uh, you want to go over the goals the desired situation the dreamland for them what is the dreamland you want to go over cost consequence questions you know what happens if you stay and you don't do something like this and you stay in your nine to five forever and you don't ever you know trust yourself to, to to do a good job in learning a side hustle and making money from it what's going to happen well what's going to happen is that you, you're, you're going to be miserable because you're in nine to five for the rest of your life right so that is really just making a realization right um asking questions so that the prospect closes themselves you don't even need to do any of the closing you're just asking questions so for example one of those questions could be you know if you continue to do what you're doing now and not getting the results that you're looking for what's the impact on your family what's the impact on you what's the impact on your finances are you willing to settle for that of course they're going to say no right and say okay why not though and then they're going to they're going to tell you okay this is why i won't settle for that right and then you can even ask questions like for example okay so why are you looking to make a change now What's so urgent that, okay, you know, you, you really want it now, right? And then you want to ask another question like, okay, so why us? There are plenty of other people that provide what we do. Why us? Why have you chosen to, spoke, uh, to speak with us, right? So you're leveraging the fact that they've booked a call with you, okay? And then that they have the problem, right? So you're there to 
like they would literally close themselves obviously you're going to be telling the truth you're going to be making sure that everything is sincere and it's told uh, properly and you're not pulling anyone's arm or anything like that because if you try to sell as a closer the person's going to feel it and they're not even going to want to buy from you the whole idea is that you don't even think that you know what okay this guy i'm going to try and get commission from him if you think that the person can easily sense it over the phone and they won't buy it so that's not even a good strategy to use anyway and then what you want to do is just summarize everything, make sure that they know that you are fully understand them. Because you'll only buy from someone if you know that, you know, I can trust this guy. He fully understands me, right? If someone, for example, is just saying, oh, okay, yeah, so, you know, what questions do you have? Yeah, we can help you with that. Yeah, yeah. If they keep it very vague, they don't really understand what you're saying. You're going to be like, okay, yeah, you know, I need to think about it, right? <laughs> Basically meaning, no, I don't want to buy from you. You haven't even showed me how this would help me. Yet, right and then you go on to the pitch right and the pitch is basically a high level overview of what we do uh, and it's the steps on the method that we use and how it would help their particular problems that they've mentioned to us and it talks a bit about the fulfillment logistics as well right so there's this particular way to do a pitch and that's covered there as well and within the main program uh, and then we've got the five step transition to the close so this is how you transition to the close to make sure there's not many objections coming before you reveal the price now it depends in terms of the price sometimes it's revealed before they even get on the call sometimes it's revealed after it doesn't really matter but the main thing is you just want to make sure that they all of their um, objections their doubts their concerns about this are settled they must be settled before they buy right so that's very 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 important and that's basically what you do on the call and then you go for the close you say okay so the investment so so basically, after you ask them the question, you say, okay, so where do you want to go from here, right? And then they'll normally say, yeah, you know what, I think I like this, let's go for it, right? And say, okay, so the investment to get you to 50k a month, uh, which is 600k a year, is only 5k, right? So let's say this is a B2B offer, right? And for you to get from 50k, uh, from wherever you are, let's say the business owner is at 10k a month in their business, and they want to get to 50k a month, which is 600k a year, then the investment is only 5k. So when you put it like that, they're going to think, oh, you know, that's quite cheap, right? So again, this is a way to propose the value in a way that, you know what, the value is quite big. And the way to sell is basically, it's exactly like this. It's all about showing the value of what they're getting. So for example, if there was a Lamborghini, right? Normally they're priced at, I don't know, 100k, 200k, whatever. Now, if there was a Lamborghini and it was priced at 10k, right and they said look you, you know this is a special offer it's only av available for a week let's just say obviously this will never happen but let's just say people even if they're broke they will do anything they can to get that 10k they will do anything they can to get that 10k because they know for sure that they can resell that and they can make 90k profit or 190k profit however much a Lamborghini is or they could actually use the car and you know get respect they can use it as an asset etc 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 they can rent it out whatever they can make something from it likewise that's what you need to do over the call that's your responsibility as a closer and then the other part of this is to show you the calendar so normally this is one of the systems that people use to book in calls that businesses use to book in calls so for example um, the way it works is that you will obviously have this app downloaded when you're working with a business if, that, if this is the app that they're using and you'll integrate your calendar your google calendar on there and then scheduled events you know any events that are scheduled they'll come into your calendar so let's say for example at the moment the closer that we have they're available from 9 30 till 4 30 right so all the calls are basically booked there right um, and then the you know you get on the call it's a zoom call right so the, the person has the details already they have the number etc 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 right so that's basically how it works so you choose the flexibility you you choose your own schedule so for example if you want to take calls from 9 to 12 and then you know have a nice break and then maybe from 4 till 8 in the evening then you can do that no problem right as long as you know that that's in line with what the business wants for you to do as well which normally most of them are very flexible and they just want you to close and get the result rather than faffing around okay when you're available when you're not available etc right so that is a basic overview of closing